Areas devastated by Hurricane Florence face a major new threat today amid rising water levels. Severe flooding is reported all over the Carolinas and rain is still falling in some places. A major city is isolated and the flood risk it extends 250 miles from the coast. Florence has killed at least 17 people. Some areas have received more than 30 inches of rain since Thursday. North Carolina officials report more than 900 water rescues across the state. Think about that. This morning, flood watches, watches and warnings stretch all the way to Pennsylvania, where the remains of Florence are headed. These pictures from Fayetteville show how difficult it is to move around. DeMarco Morgan is 40 miles south in Pembroke, North Carolina, where rescuers have been working nonstop for days. DeMarco, good morning. Good morning to you. Pembroke is just one of the many communities that authorities have spent the past couple of days searching for residents stranded by floodwaters and the rain has stopped at least for now. But now authorities are keeping a close eye on levees and rivers that are now under pressure. All eyes are on Lumberton, North Carolina this morning, where the rising Lumber River threatens to worsen flooding. Relentless rain from Florence caused the river to swell, rising overnight to more than 24 feet in an already inundated city. Emergency officials and volunteers have been working around the clock to keep the river at bay. As Florence raged Friday, they frantically sandbagged a section of the city where floodwaters from Hurricane Matthew had rushed in two years ago. As you can see, the sandbags did not work. This is the Lumber River, which is headed toward town, as it did during Hurricane Matthew. With water levels on the rise, the priority is getting people out. The so-called Cajun Navy, a volunteer rescue team from Louisiana, helped evacuate dozens stranded in a nursing facility in Lumberton. That damn. A few miles away in Pembroke, firefighters raced Sunday to rescue people trapped in homes surrounded by water ahead of more rain. It's a lot of flooding. Jessica Locklear and her two young children were rescued as floodwaters started creeping into their home. I can't swim and I don't want my babies to drown. The firefighters are joined by local volunteers struggling through treacherous conditions. You try to get out there with a small boat, you're putting your life in the other person's life in danger. To the north, parts of downtown Fayetteville are underwater and could be even more submerged when the Cape Fear River is expected to crest later this week around 62 feet. Now they're talking about the rivers ain't crested yet, so when they crest, this is really going to get serious. Authorities also keeping a close eye on the Hope Mills Dam. That's near Fayetteville after concerns overnight that it may fail. And more than half a million people in both South and North Carolina are without power. And it could take a couple of weeks before power is fully restored. Bianca? And as you mentioned, water is expected to continue to rise in the days ahead. DeMarco, thank you.